Alright guys, so today we're gonna make a base. A uh, very simple dio. Uh, here I am cutting a foam core, planning out the stuff. I'll be using Daiso cork clay, which I bought 8 pesos each for sale because I think they're just clearing it out. Now I'm planning the thing with the cork clay and preparing my Kai's mold, which is our very own modeling compound. I would prefer this hands down against a texture paste because first of all they're lighter and they dry faster they dry like within 10 to 15 minutes and that already is a banger and the cost per volume is more you know can be so many things with this thing cheaper lighter and amazing faster there you go <laughs> so applying more mold uh, modeling compound because I want to form a good rack formation for the base. Did this out, you just use water, which is very easy, and that's it. We're gonna black bomb this. So this is black paint equals our very own decoupage. Um, it's actually, I don't know. I think it's pronounced decoupage. It's actually mod podge which is stronger than pva glue it's more like a sealant but uh you can get one of these for like Cairo has the mod podge is one of them so yeah black paint then that's it next is we're gonna apply the actual rock uh colors and just dry brushing the textures and doing some more effects to it now we're super gluing some bits and bits to our board here. Um, you can get this in the store. We have so many kinds of varieties, guys. It, may, it puts your bases with more effects and more details. So I really suggest you guys get one of your own bits and bits on the store. Link down below. Now as in it, I'll highlight the entire board because we're gonna paint it with transition paints and this is what it looks like. So I also did a little bit of painting to some of the mushrooms and the logs so it could add more detail and we're gonna prepare we're gonna prep it for flocking. So I applied my glue, there you go, and just in the patches because I still want to keep the ground texture so this is gonna be the flocking we use it's still one of the guys in the flocking flocks I think this is not green uh, just sprinkle it on like salt base sprinkles his meat now this is what it looks like after but we're gonna spray it we're gonna lock it in with water for the surface tension for the sealant because if you don't do this guys the sealant won't go to the crevices of the flock it's just a brick surface tension, you know, it's just physics thing, I guess. Now we apply our scenic glue. Um, this is in a different bottle, but the one in the store is a spray bottle, so it's much more easier than this that I have, which is from an oil uh, squeegee bottle. I don't know what they call this, but it's an oil squeegee bottle, I guess. So easy, apply all of your scenic glue, because this will seal it. It will never come off. It will be perfect for gaming and so safe for you to put your models in no matter how much you tap it it's safe wait for it to dry and now this is the finished piece guys it looks fantastic and look at that me shaking nothing is falling off that's what happens if you properly sealed your flocking so i really suggest you guys get a spray bottle with water and just spray it and Apply your scenic glue for the surface tension and look at that fully sealed, fully protected. You can travel with this if you want to. Guys, thank you for watching and this is just a simple base build. <laughs>